Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Guri, consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery, and assisted conception. I want to talk to, talk to you about updates from ESHRI, and it was an extremely good European conference. And I have got around to about 30 good talks which I have my opinion about. And I think some of them were frankly fantastic talks which came up with a very good understanding of the basics. And I will go through some of these talks which I found interesting and which taught me something which I did not know or which reinforced what I did. So I'll call it the Eshray updates and I'll first talk was it's one of the talks on septum resection in, in women with septate uterus. And the question which had was asked was does hysteroscopic resection improve reproductive outcomes in women with a septate uterus? And this was done from a group from the Netherlands by J. Riken and et al. A septate uterus is about forms about two to two point five percent of cases. We know it has an increased rate of miscarriage, infertility, and preterm, pre but the evidence is lacking. And so this was a quite a large study of 245 patients done over three years with a multi-center data. It included women with recurrent miscarriage, subfertility, previous preterm births with a septate uterus, and the outcome was a live birth rate, and a secondary outcome was miscarriage rates. So 148 women with a BMI of around 25 and age of 32, and the live birth rate was 51% following hysteroscopic resection and 71% with, without any treatment. The miscarriage rate was 33% without resection and 28% with resection. Preterm labor was 33% without resection and 39% with resection. So the, what they concluded, and that's quite interesting, they concluded that resecting a, a septum does not increase live birth rates and does not decrease miscarriage rates or preterm labor. And that's something very interesting, especially when, it, when evidence is lacking and, and we follow very much a very fixed uh, concept that you see a septum and you resect it. And I'll say, think about it again. We just don't know. And we don't know whether by removing very large septums and, and septums which are muscular, you're just causing more harm and causing more adhesions. And I don't know. And I often tend, tend to tell patients is why don't you just go ahead and put the embryo back and, and let's have a look at it rather than interfering with the uterus. So that was one of the, an interesting talk. Thank you.